book review time. Hey, it's Pam from Ben Fuzzy Lugs and it's Wednesday so it must be another needle felt in equipment or supplies review. Every Wednesday I make videos just like these so if you're interested in needle felting don't forget hit subscribe down below, give us a thumbs up and come back every Wednesday. So today I want to review for you this book. This is Fleece Dogs and it's a bit of a story time as well because actually this is the book that got me into needle felting. So it was somewhere around 2008 and I was dragging around after my mum through another craft shop. Um, she is into all sorts of crafts and I just have never been that crafty. But then this wee face just jumped out at me. I totally fell in love with him and had to have this book purchased the book, got home, checked in the back for where to get supplies from, ordered a kit and when it arrived started felting. So this is what's responsible for it all. So the book itself, it says on the front, which is so cute, it says a little bit of magic created with raw wool and a special needle and that's exactly what needle felting is so that is absolutely adorable. I don't want to show you too much of the inside because I want you to go out and get it but it's split into several sections. We have to start with the author's photographs of the dogs they've made out of fleece that you're going to get directions for in the book and the photographs are beautiful and really they're about life size for what what she's making this is what I struggled with once I started needle felting was I saw everyone's pictures and wondered how they got them so smooth and so wonderful I didn't realize that other people were making much larger sculptures I thought everybody made the little size but that's perfect for me so that is one thing to be aware of the instructions in the book are for making the little two three inch size dogs which I think are just perfect. So there's a full load of breeds in there and pictures of them just doing ridiculously cute things. That's so sweet. It's like the miniature schnauzer of course, Pomeranians, Dalmatians, all sorts of dogs. And then we have colour charts to tell you what colours you're going to need to make the dogs that you're going to make. A section on how to collect the dog hair if you're going to use your own dog some case studies of the author making some dogs from pictures and then we come into what you the equipment you're going to need and instructions for how to felt. Now I will say there isn't details on how to move the needle about or how it's actually working but it's obviously good enough because immediately when I got my kit I just started felting and everything was cool. Um, there's ways how to make the legs separate and also instructions on how to make an armature as well for the small dogs. Attaching fibre and all sorts of steps until so you go from a pile of fluff to your very first dog. As I say, I'm not going to show you all the steps, go out and buy it. And then there is the section on each of the individual dogs and this is fantastic because your picture is life sized and all the pieces it's showing you the sizes to make the pieces into actual life size seat for the dog that you're going to make. So there's quite a lot of dogs in here, the pictures are wonderful, it's ever so cute. I would say it's perfect for a beginner or if you're just looking for a bit of inspiration or just to see the photographs which are quite adorable. Um, I'm going to link to the website and to where you can buy the book down below. Not sponsored but it will be an affiliate link on Amazon so that just means it doesn't cost you anything but it helps the channel if you were thinking of purchasing anything. Um, but like I say I'm not sponsored by these people at all. But Ben McFuzzy Lugs approved. I adore this book. Yes it's not the most detailed, it doesn't have the most complicated tutorials but it just shows you with just some simple shapes what fantastic variety of dogs you can make and it inspired me so I would say definitely worth worth a look. Okay thank you so much for joining me. What needle felting books have you used and loved? Let me know in the comments below what books that you've liked. I hope that helped. Don't forget to come back next week and check out some of the videos to the side here and I'll see you next time. Thank you.